Just kidding again. <laughs> okay. Anyways, kindergartners. Um, dear future me, is the page we are on today. So if you do not have this time capsule printed off, you can just get a blank piece of paper and doodle along with me here. Um, this is from Jason Tharp, and it is about your future self. So this is really where we are going to just reflect on who we want to be when we grow up. So after we complete this, we are going to be just getting right onto the path of being a big, being an adult. So you can tell your new first grade teachers you already have your plan in place. So draw and write where you think you might want to go to college. It's a really big question. So you could do some college visits if you want. So you could virtually tour some campuses. I know that's an option right now, uh, but college is a really cool, magical experience. Uh, I personally went to OU, so if any of you want to go to Ohio University, it's in Athens, Ohio, go Bobcats, um, I would suggest you go and just write that one down. Uh, great experience, really fun, I learned a lot, and um, I really don't know what else to say about it. I miss the place, so I'm going to go and write OU. Uh, some other colleges around here, there's the Ohio State University, um, Cincinnati, Xavier. I mean, ask your parents where they went to college. Um, there's Denison around here, Otterbein. Maybe you want to go somewhere totally different. Maybe you want to go out of state. I don't know. These are all decisions that you're going to need to make today. So think about it. Think about it hard. Ask your parents where they went. Maybe your dad and mom went to rival schools. You know, Mr. Jeremy went to OU too, and Mr. Brown went to OU too. So it's very, very good odds that you should go to OU as well. Uh, Miami, not so much, but maybe. I don't know. You know, just go ahead and write what college you want to go to. And yeah, all right. Uh, next thing. So OU is, and you spell Ohio University just like OU. Also easy to write. So you'll be done fast if you just put OU. Uh, draw and write a piece of advice from your parents. Hmm. Uh, so what's something your parents always tell you all the time? Listen, don't put your shoes in the middle of the hallway, put your clothes away, put on cleaned underwear. Those are great advice. So whatever advice you want to write that your parents tell you to do, write it there in that box. I'm going to do my shoes. When I was little, my dad used to always tell me, well, he would trip over my shoes all the time because I leaved them out, or I left them out, I should say. I would just leave them right when you walked in the door. So whenever he would walk in, he would trip over him. He would say, Amanda, that's my secret name. Don't tell anybody. He'd say, Amanda, don't put your shoes in the middle of main and high. I was like, those are street names and they're just on the rug right there. But he just meant don't leave your shoes out, like put them away. That's what he was implying. So I'm going to just go ahead and write that one here because guess what? It's really funny. Now that I'm a mom, when my kids leave their shoes in the middle of the rug, when I walk in, it's super annoying. So don't put your shoes just in the middle. Put your shoes away, okay? It's a good good piece of advice. All right, draw and write something at your at-home teacher taught you that you liked. Oh, what did your at-home teacher teach you? Hmm. Um, gosh, I am the at-home. I am the teacher at home. What did I do? I did Butterflies with Janie. That was, that was actually pretty fun. So I'm going to put caterpillars, chrysalis, and a butterfly. That was a really fun lesson. And then I think for Gavin, Mr. Jeremy was his homeschool teacher, and he learned how to tile a shower. So that was a pretty cool learning activity. What did you learn from mom and dad with all this cool time at home? Think about it. You probably learned something really cool and unique that you wouldn't typically learn at school. And then the next box says, what do you think you're going to look like when you're 40 years old? Well, I'm not 40 yet, so I'm going to go ahead and draw what I think I'll look like, which is just like this. Basically, just the same. Okay? Just like that. That's what I think I'll look like. And then, and honestly, guys, 40 isn't even old, so don't draw yourself old. Okay? Pretty youthful. So be kind on yourselves. All right, three things that you, you're you excited to do when this is over. Go to Disney. I've rescheduled it twice so far. Um, go to JoJo's house. 
like go to I was actually just at Jojo's house but I felt bad because I don't know if I was supposed to be there and then like go to Jojo's house and be able to yell like I was at Jojo's house and I gave Jojo a hug Jojo is my mom um <coughs> third thing I want to do how did I forget I want to go to work I want to go to school I want to see the kindergartners. School. I'm actually going to move school up to Disney, and I'm moving Disney down to number three. Dead serious. So anyways, that's that. Dear future self, you guys have a lot to think about, a lot of decision making to do right now, and you might want to ask your parents about the whole college choice because I might have been a little biased on the whole OU thing, which is okay. It's a great school. All right. Bye, guys.